Hey guys, so it's the following week now and I forgot to actually update you on how the painting and stuff went. So um, it's all black now and I think it looks really nice and it's black over here. Um, the only problem is that we have decided to move. And here's some boxes and here's empty shelves um, as well as we started emptying the DVDs. So yeah. <laughs> I sort of had this inkling that this would happen, that I would paint the flat black and then we'd move out. So now we've got to paint it all white. <laughs> Such a waste of time. But um, this wall looks really pretty with the frame, so I'll show you that. So I think it looks a lot better with the frames being gold um, than the random grey ones. There's still a bit more to be done when we move this over to the new flat, but um, yeah, I think it all looks a bit more cohesive now. Hey guys, so um, I'm going to start packing today. Uh, as you might have seen in the previous vlog, um, I started packing the bookshelf and the DVDs. And um, I've got now lots of bubble wrap and some more boxes and things like that. So I'm going to start packing, basically pack up all this sort of stuff, which I don't really need out. The plant I will leave obviously because I don't know how to pack that. I'm going to have to carry that in the car with me and a few other bits like the flower. Mm, not them, they're quite dead. <laughs> Um, yeah, other more delicate bits are going to go in the car when we move and the rest will go in the van. So yeah, I'm going to get on with that and then I need to tackle all these black walls and paint them white and I have no idea how many layers that will take. So fingers crossed it's only like two. <laughs> so I bought um, 100 metres of biodegradable bubble wrap because um, basically we've got so many things, oh it's my scary hand, that need... Um, wrapping up basically that could all potentially break and like weird stuff like that pelvis up by the window and all the stuff on the mantelpiece like I said before and because you're buying something in a length that it doesn't really mean anything at the time like I don't know what a hundred meters of bubble wrap how that translates to you know a thousand pictures on the wall so I hope this is enough it didn't cost much it cost about 20 quid um yeah we will see So it's the next morning and um, I managed to pack three boxes in total yesterday. Um, I took all the pictures off the frame, you see Chris here just unscrewing all the um, screws <laughs> and nails from the wall before we fill all the holes and then we're going to paint it white um, and we've got Disturbed on the laptop. So yeah, it'll all be good. We're going to try and aim to do at least one coat today. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. we're painting all the remaining bits of wall white but so that's the bit that's left that's black because that bureau is just so heavy to move and it's just really confirmed that the black wall just looks so much better with that furniture with the dark wood and the gold stuff and like it's so much better than white I just can't get over how weird and plain the front room looks um I'm looking forward to decorating a new house we've got to try and like get this little spine down from up there and there's some fairy lights if you can't really see because the window um yeah here's Jeff having a shower oh x-rated okay so it's now Sunday um so I really didn't feel much yesterday I don't remember I don't think I filmed a great deal um but the outcome is that the walls are now completely white they've finished except for that one alcove which I can't do because of that desk so today my job is to empty that um throw out any rubbish that's in there, pack up what's in there so that it's easier to move. Um, it's going to be another no makeup day. My skin's got so bad, like it's really sore, it's all these spots. But yeah, I'm just leaving it be. Um, I've also done, oh you can hear it's really echoey, it's quite fun. 
down this big wall as well so that's all white so yeah um i'm gonna get on with emptying this i'm gonna film that as a um, proper video so i will leave that below when that's done um i wish we won't include my actual face and greasy hair my hair's covered in paint as well looking good Hey guys, so it's the following weekend and um, it's snowing again. Look at this. I mean, it's not settling and it's been snowing now for, um, I don't know, like an hour. But yeah, it's quite exciting. So I've started packing the bedroom. Um, there's a few <laughs> empty spaces up there, not much. You fill a box and it just doesn't actually look much emptier. That thing's looking quite empty. And Chris has done some of his side. And then if we go into the front room, it's all white now. There is a pepper juice. Um, so it's looking all right. I've emptied pretty much most of that bureau in my makeup um, sort of declutter where I showed some of the products through a bit out then and then um, packed away the rest. Today I'm going to do the bathroom cabinet. But we're just sort of running out of space for boxes. Like there's tons piled up there and I don't know. It's getting quite messy. So we've got this cabinet here right by the bathroom. And this is what I'm going to empty today because this is all our sort of non-essential toiletries because the ones we use all the time around the bath oh here we go because it's a box um i've lost my tripod for my phone so i won't be able to show you as i go along but um i'm hoping to empty this out and throw away any bits i don't need what are you looking for ah bits to eat and of course she's got into the box hello It's one box full. Um, it turns out we've actually got so many like tubes of toothpaste. There's four there, loads of spare toothbrushes, dry shampoo, and all the rest. Um, and this is all the rubbish we've got just um, products used up from the body shop. I always had these dehumidifying bags from my last flax, it was damp, and I only bought them quite recently before moving out. So I stored them like in the back of some of these and other places. Um, some sun cream there that's run out and just bits of cardboard for recycling contraceptive pills and then another cat um i found a face mask that i'm going to use later and um just a body spray that me or chris don't use so um me and chris don't use so that can go to the charity shop because it's full so this box is all done and now just to try and put the lid on yeah these are good because they're nice and small you can't make them too heavy so um and they stack up really well so yeah, I'll just sell this down, right bathroom, and then I need mystery one more box. There's not much left in there. There are towels, bath mat, and just industrial amounts of cotton wool from when I did the IT makeup tutorial. I'm going to empty this box, which is the toiletries I use most often. Um, firstly is this vitamin E spray. Oh, I found my tripod so I can film properly now. Um, which this spray Chris absolutely loves. We've only got a tiny bit left in there because I've put the rest into this little travel bottle. So I'll pack the travel bottle leave this out for the next few days um but i will actually put this on the top because he does love it um a perfume which i don't need between now and then a body spray which um i'm actually trying to use up deodorant i need that do i need leave-in conditioner I doubt it oh, i think it's back three bottles of empty arctic fox hair dye i just really like the bottles i really like the smell of them it's such good hair dye this was in the shade Girls' Night, which is a nice light purple, and then um, Purple Rain in these two little ones. There's no point taking empty bottles on there. Do you like the smell? Yeah, it smells nice. Um, a tiny little moisturiser, which I did actually try and open yesterday, and I couldn't, so we'll work that out later. A top of a hairdryer. So um, I've just also put away some nail Yard products. I've got a body wash and a hand wash. Um, they're really lovely. I just haven't got around to using them yet. Um, I've used them before, so I know what they are. Here's an old perfume. Um, yeah, still smells nice. I'll keep that for now. I've got a lip scrub that I've not used, a mango one. Um, I was going to put this in a giveaway. It's by Grounded. Um, so I'll put that in my box of... Actually, I don't think it will fit. I'll keep it in here for now. 
Here's a matte finish moisturiser and a sensitive skin body wash from Roida and Amy. Here's some more Nilgard products. We've got lavender oil and geranium oil. These are really nice. I like putting them in the bath. Here's another lip balm from the body shop. I've been using this quite a bit. So I'm halfway empty, but I do have lip balms already open in my bag and all the rest, so I don't really need to keep that. And then I've got a body lotion. This one is by Moran... Uh, spa Ran Mirandara Spa <laughs> it sounds so unsure it smells really lovely it's sandalwood and patchouli <laughs> and there's an empty deodorant here's just a nice bag <laughs> um, and there's a Dr Botan Botanicals um, just a little card that comes with the products so that is that box empty um and this isn't really that full, so I'm going to just dust the foot powder into the shoes and then find some other bits to put in this box. Okay, so next up I'm going to tackle the bathroom. There's a couple of products up there on the windowsill, some around the bath that just get used all the time, and then some junk in that cupboard. So, um, yeah, I will do that now. So the stuff on the windowsill, um, I've got these little bottles from Nail Jard again. This one had eye cream in, so I can't really refill that anyway, so I'll recycle that. And this one um, I was gonna reuse, but the like thing is all broken. Um, what's the actual glass like? I can't really use that for anything, can I? No, okay, I'll recycle this as well. Got a um, breaking beard oil from Mr. Macy. This has the tiniest bit left in it. Um, so Christmas, we want to use it up and then we can recycle that as well. So I'll leave that one out. I've got this naturally radiant glycolic acid. Um, it's like a 5% glycolic acid toner, but there's like half a centimeters worth of product. So I use that up between moving. Um, and I've got dry shampoo, which again, there's only the tiniest bit. So I'm gonna leave that out. I have got the glycolic acid overnight one. I'm going to pack that because I won't be using that over the next few weeks. Um, as well as the glycerin and rose water toner. And then I've also got the Kills Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. This is fantastic for when I'm wearing loads of makeup. Um, oh my god, Pepper's back. Hello. Looks like I'm about to cover you in this. Come here. Do you want to be brushed? Um, yeah, this oil is really good at dissolving makeup. So when I'm wearing loads of makeup, I put this on first when my skin is completely dry. It dissolves most of it and then um, I go in with a, like an actual face wash. Okay. What else do we not need, Piggy? Do we pack you? Where do you go? Do you want to sit in the bath? No. Okay, we'll be friends. Do you want to sit on the side of the buff? Okay. To empty that cupboard, what I'm going to do is sit in the bath, but I'm going to put a towel down because it's wet. Well, not like sit in it, it's not in it. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's already soaked through the towel. This was a terrible idea. Oh, well. um, Here's some gloves, are they new? Yes, I'll keep those. Okay, this cupboard is quite empty like compared to what it used to be. I've got a hairspray, that's got quite a lot left in it, I'll keep that. Um, a green, what one's this? Phantom Green Arctic Box, I'm keeping that because I think I'm going to dry my hair green next. Another men's body spray that Chris doesn't use, so I can go to the charity shop. A cleanser that made my skin so awful, but it's annoying because it's quite full, but it made my skin, it has, it's got avocado in it and I'm allergic to that, but um, 
yeah, made my skin really bumpy. So I don't know. I'll see if someone else wants it because it's still quite a lot in there. Some like fake tan, gradual tan. Obviously, I'm never tan, so again, I'll try and give that away. Some exfoliating products and a mask um, from Dermalogica. This is part of a professional's range where to help with extractions, and this is just a general sebum clearing mask. I'm gonna go in the bath. This is oil in a really disgusting bottle, but it's basically really, really good for scars, but it's so thick. Um, I use it occasionally. Here's a shimmery body lotion. I'll keep this for now because it does look really nice on the skin, but it's super old and I wouldn't be able to give it away anyway. Um, and then the other part of that product to help with extractions with the skin. Um, I've then got a, a hair mask. I don't need that at the moment, but I'll keep it. An empty pot from Lush, so I'll throw this away. Though if you get five of them and take them back, you get a free like face mask or something, but I've never got through. That. This is the first product I've ever used of theirs in a pot, and I can't see myself using any others. Um, this was a body exfoliator, or well, it's advertised as a face exfoliator. It's basically tea. Um, but oh god, I'm gonna throw that away. It looks gross. A face mask, I don't need that at the moment. Um, an essential oil that's not really got anything in it. This one we used as an insect repellent when we went to Spain, but that's empty now. A um, peacock blue crazy colour. I really didn't like this colour. It stained everything I owned blue and didn't really stain my hair anyway, so that's annoying. But I might use it to mix with other shades, but I wouldn't go all over my hair with it. Um, this is by La Roche-Posay and it is Rosaliac. <laughs> Hydrating, um, skin perfecting anti-redness moisturiser, so I'll keep that, but I'll pack it. I don't need that out, no. Vitamin C tablets, dissolvable paracetamol, which is an awful idea, just get normal paracetamol because then you have to drink like a whole pint's worth of water or like a cup of water and it tastes foul, like absolutely foul. I bought it with Pride last year because I had a headache. Motion sickness tablets and IBS relief for discomfort and windiness. How went they do up? And then it's just two bottles of sun cream and that is it in here but these will be out of date but I'll keep the bottles so yeah that's everything from the cupboard I forgot to show you this little fella um my friend Imogen got me this and I put my um like hair dyeing brushes in it I did put my toothbrush but this sink is really really small so it didn't quite fit but yeah I'll pack him away so um to show you what it's thrown out so far is so everything in here is just the deodorant, hair dye, and things like that. I've emptied out those two bottles of shampoo. Oh no, what was it? Sun cream. Um, I'm just gonna actually wash them properly though. And yeah, then I need to work out how to pack like some of this stuff. I don't know if to leave it till, I don't know, it's gotta be quite close to the time because that's all the stuff I use every day. <laughs> There's rubber ducks there because Pepper likes to sit in the bath at night and we put the ducks in there and some water and she plays with them. So, um, <laughs> If that's not, you know, at all weird. He can just sort of lie down in here. Will it fit in there? She is so curious today about what is happening. Okay, so that's these two boxes packed, filled with bathroom stuff. That cupboard's still not completely empty, but that black one in the corner is now. Here's another glove that I found. I'll chuck that in there. Um, and yeah, here's the other product for the charity shop. And that is Jaffa.